All right, so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and do another story time. I'm not honestly sure what else kind of video to make right now, uh, but I have, I kind of have that, uh, that, 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 that itch to make a video. So uh, we're gonna talk, we're gonna do a story time. Uh, and this story time is about the time that I almost died in a car wreck. It was absolutely terrible. Uh, it completely totaled the truck, uh, all sorts of things. It was absolutely terrible. Uh, probably have a little bit of PTSD from it, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're gonna get into right into the video. We're gonna talk right about it, but before we do that, let, let me know what you guys think about, you know, these story times, stuff like that. Let me know if you want me to do more of these, whatever. Uh, and don't forget to leave a like at the end of the video if you do like it. But if you didn't like it, uh, you can you can dislike it. That's totally fine. But please leave a comment telling me why you disliked it because it totally helps out the channel. And I know, I know even if you didn't like the video, you would want to... You, you, you would want to help a fellow creator out. Anyway, uh, let's get into the video. I used to help my dad deliver equipment to, to cell phone towers. It was cell phone equipment, cell phone towers. We worked for this, um, this company, uh, and basically all we did is load everything up in, 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 at, at a warehouse. We would drive this, this rental truck up there. Uh, they would load it all in with uh, like forklifts, pallet jacks, whatever, and then we would drive to cell phone towers, uh, and from there, we would basically just put the equipment inside a building. Uh, we had all the codes <laughs> to all the towers and everything too. So uh, I, I, those codes do not change either. So I could legitimately like break into pretty much any of these cell phone towers even to this day. Uh, but that's besides the point. Uh, <laughs> I just think that was a little funny thing to add in there. Basically, that's all we did. Sometimes we wouldn't carry our rental truck. Sometimes we would use uh, his personal truck and get a trailer from our boss or whoever. Uh, and that was... That that was the case this time. So uh, we go. We usually go out of state too. We've been to Tennessee, Mississippi, uh, all over the South, uh, even up north a little bit a couple times. There was one rare occasion where we went to California, but I didn't go that time because I was on a cruise. But that's a different story. Anyway, uh, so we're going out of state. Uh, I don't know why. I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't really remember. I'm I'm a hundred. I'm gonna be a hundred with you guys. I do not remember. But for some reason, for some reason. My grandfather went with us, and I honestly have no idea why. I can't for the life of me remember. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why he was with us. But for whatever reason, he was he was riding with us this this time. I don't know why. He never went with us before. Uh, he didn't help us with anything. Um, he's old. He's like... 60 70 i don't really know how old he is to be honest uh but he's old he doesn't he doesn't do work like that he was basically there for the ride i guess i don't really know why he was there i don't know why he was with us but he was anyway so we deliver all this equipment and uh the equipment in particular was a giant spool of um cable i think is what is what it was i don't exactly remember what it was but it was something that was like really easy to just basically push off a truck <laughs> uh and uh we get we get there no problem. Everything's done. It's all good. We leave. Uh, it's getting kind of dark because uh, obviously we're out of state, so it's several hours away, several hours back, um, and there's like multiple stops, so you know, it's it is it's delivering it's that's what it is so uh we're getting done we go uh it's about time to eat some dinner uh so we decide hey what he got my dad he's like hey what do you want to eat and i'm like I, I don't know what's what's the closest thing the next thing we see is mcdonald's they're like all right let's stop there i was pretty hungry i don't care what it is i want the food uh anyway so we get we get there we stop at mcdonald's and you may be thinking what is what is what, what, what are you talking about mcdonald's for this this isn't a mcdonald's story what's going on what are you talking about this for i'm gonna click off this video well, don't click off the video because this part I feel like is a little bit important. So anyway, I get into McDonald's. Uh, we, we go to the bathroom, wash up, everything like that. Uh, we get our food. We leave. On the way out, uh, I notice a penny on the ground and I pick it up. And this penny's on tails, but I pick it up anyway because I'm greedy like that. And I'm not a superstitious person, but this one, this, this whole experience kind of made me just a tiny bit suspicious. Kind of made me a tiny bit uh, believe in that bad luck for picking up pennies. Uh, but that's besides the point. Uh, I know it definitely definitely uh gave my my father the belief of never pick up a penny on tails uh anyway uh so pick up this penny we drive down the road literally less than a mile away there's this stoplight and so we get to this stoplight and we're stopped there obviously because it's red so we stop and there's this uh sheriff or something like that i think he was a um dot or something like that literally right in, right in front of us because he's you know he's coming towards us while we're going uh towards the other way and he's he's sitting there um no big deal right um there's this car next to him and uh so 
the, our light goes green, so we're like, okay, sweet, let's go. Uh, we drive forward, thinking no big deal of it, but this idiot <laughs> uh, and in this truck, he he t-bones us. He he, he doesn't t-bone us, but he hits us right in the uh, the uh, the front right tire wheel area. He hits us right there. Um, my grandfather he had coffee from McDonald's. It spilt everywhere in his lap. Went all over the windshield, stuff like that. Um, there was some. Um, heating equipment uh in the back seat it was like um very lightweight um heaters like heaters that you could just quickly you know take somewhere for like a campsite or something hook it up to an outlet and then it would heat up there was a couple of those in the back seat and then like a box or two all of that junk slung at me and uh i i just like had this most like lightning reflex reaction here I block that. I block that stuff with my arms. I bro I hold up both my arms and block this stuff from hitting me in the face. Uh, we stop. We stop spinning because we we kind of spun uh, al almost to the point where we were touching our trailer. Our trailer and a um, our truck literally did this V shape until both of them were touching. <laughs> That's how hard this guy hit us. And so that happens. I I, I block all of the all, all of that um, heating stuff from hitting me in the face. All those heaters. That's on the ground now. I'm looking around like, oh my god, what just happened? I I see the car that hit us and you're not gonna believe this but this guy keeps going <laughs> he just keeps driving and i'm like what that's crazy what is he doing so i i i i i handled this situation really really well i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know how i did but i did and so i, I immediately understand what's happening here this guy is 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 gonna hit and run us that's what that's exactly what's happening so i'm like this guy is running away from us is what i told i was what i told my dad and my grandfather i was like this guy's running uh so i watch him and i watch him out my side window he gets around me so i have to look out the back window uh and out the back window i see that he goes down this other road and takes a right right behind this um building and i'm like that son of a bitch he actually got away he better not have actually gotten away so obviously like i mentioned a few seconds ago not a few seconds ago but a couple minutes ago the dot is sitting right in front of us so obviously he immediately puts on his lights uh drive like stops all the traffic around us checks in on us is like hey are you guys okay and all of us were okay thank god and I, I, I chime in, I was like, hey, that guy ran. He went right down that road and stopped right at that building. Uh, and he's like, okay, um, I don't remember what he did after that, but uh, he, I think he ended up like radioing all this in, you know, saying like, oh, we need we need backup here more or less, uh, maybe get an ambulance. I don't know, we didn't we didn't ride an ambulance or anything like that. I think he actually asked us if we needed an ambulance, but uh, we were okay, mostly just shaken up. Uh, none of the windows shattered. I don't know how that happened, but none of the windows shattered. Uh, the the vehicle was impossible to to uh, move. You couldn't you couldn't drive this vehicle. Uh, it um, we actually the police actually told us like, hey, we we need we need your vehicle moved. Uh, there's a spot right over here it's an empty lot from, from like an old gas station it's an empty lot drive your car up there it's like it's virtually no no feet at all you can drive up there uh it'll be fine so we get up there our car is going like two miles an hour because it's all wrecked uh the trailer is kind of wobbling because you know it's obviously messed up and everything uh so we get there uh again we kind of we basically have to file file this entire police report call in insurance all this junk and um when it's all done the police I, I really like this guy. This guy was really nice. He was like, "Hey, um, there is this this shop right up here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sh I'm gonna more or less guide you guys there." He ends up helping us to get there. Uh, we get our car, our truck fixed just enough to reach uh, like a top speed of like 60 miles an hour. Of like that. we get the car fixed just enough to where we can drive the rest of the way back home in this vehicle. Um, but it's totaled. This vehicle, it, it's not running properly anymore, and it's all it's all messed up. It actually ended up getting totaled by the insurance, uh, so we lost that truck for forever, basically. And we ended up having a different one. Uh, but, yeah, the whole situation, it kind of left us shaken. Um, the guy did actually, this is the, this is the messed up part. Cause I actually kind of jumped past this part, but, uh, shortly after the wreck, like five minutes after the wreck, this dude, this dude, the dude that hit us, the most idiotic dude that hit us and then ran, came back to the scene on foot and was like, Hey man, my buddy just borrowed my car and he said he, he hit y'all. Is this the car that he hit? You know, pointing at us and... Uh, obviously, this is the guy that did it. Uh, he's not fooling anybody. Obviously, there's no way to prove exactly that he was the guy that did it, but uh, uh, he was the guy that did it, obviously. And, and it ended up becoming a whole thing where he did eventually 
uh, get charged for it, I think, or something like that. Uh, but anyway, this guy is talking to us. We're so mad at this guy. Um, I don't exactly remember what we all say and do. Uh, obviously, he uh, and he gives us his insurance or whatever. It's the most jankiest um, uh, is insurance ever, whatever. I'm not going to bore you guys with that details. But anyway, uh, he eventually leaves, uh, and then and then we move, and then uh, the the officer is like, yeah. Uh, we've had problems with it, that guy before or something like that. Uh, he said he's the local druggie. Um, and, and and he told us that and we're immediately like, why didn't you go after him then? <laughs> why, why didn't you do anything? You know, so I like this officer, but uh, he was kind of like, wow, why didn't you do anything? But it turns out that he didn't do anything because his wife was either the mayor or he was running for mayor or something like that. It was some kind of political reason why he could not go after this guy uh, for drugs and stuff like that. I don't I don't understand the whole political reasons why he couldn't but there was a whole political reason why he couldn't go after him but yeah uh that's the time that i got we um i almost died because of a, a drug lord <laughs> uh t-boned us at a uh, stoplight so uh yeah that's pretty much the whole story there's really not much more to it other than the fact that the insurance ended up you know totaling our car we had to get a new one uh the insurance uh well i want to say the insurance but that guy's insurance ended up paying for us to have um, back therapy for like a couple weeks. That back therapy didn't. That that back therapy didn't help. And to this day, I still have a little bit of a problem with my back. Uh, but that's besides the point. Uh, anyway, that's basically the whole story of the time the drug lord hit us and the uh, uh, hit and run accident. Uh, not even an accident, really. This uh, well, I guess it technically was an accident, but it definitely felt like it was on purpose. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> It was terrible. Uh, that's going to do it for the video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do those wonderful things. Because when you do those wonderful things, you get access to wonderful content such as this. That's not all. That's not all you get access to. You get to become wonderful yourself. So uh, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and share because you get to become wonderful and get access to wonderful content. Uh, anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. However you watched, and don't forget to stay wonderful.